Authority Local Forecast. All right, we're three days out from Thanksgiving. Oh, we're excited for that for sure. Let's take a look at your RV World Human Sky Cam as you got still a tropical traffic along 4th Avenue and 16th Street in Yuma. Here's what else we have in regards, you know, to the current situation with the radar satellite. I mean, we do have some inclement weather up in Utah, northern Arizona. Nothing major, nothing cataclysmic. But uh, we are counting on a little side blessing effect. We'll get into that in just a few moments. But as you can see, temperatures right now pretty much ranging from the low to the mid 60s in the Imperial Valley. We venture over on the eastern side of the desert southwest. Temperature is a little bit higher, but not by much. As you can see, 63 to 66 degrees outside at this particular time, which takes us to your wind speeds. Now we've cranked it a little bit over in the Imperial Valley, where even now we have uh, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds and on the Eastern side, it's all pretty quiet. Now tonight, we're continuing to see the system kind of plow through and we've seen some evidence of that system again with the inclement weather over in Utah, just for starters, and even further to the north. But this system as it continues to work its way southeast is going to have its effect on us in terms of the temperatures going down a bit. So we're looking forward to that. As you can see that jet stream making its dip to the desert southwest. And then by the time we get on into Tuesday, uh, that jet stream dip is going to move further eastward, but the effects of it will be felt because we're going to be riding on the back end of it and we'll be much cooler than what we were today, or at least significantly cooler. I mean, we're not talking 60 degree highs or anything, but certainly not 80 degree highs. 56 degrees by 8 a.m. come tomorrow, and then we'll get up to 73 degrees by the mid afternoon. We shouldn't get much warmer than that, and then we'll start to subside the temperatures as we get to the 7 p.m. hour and for your Yuma International Airport extended forecast. Say that five times fast. As you can see, we're going to keep it in the 70s. And if anything, by Turkey Day, we start to slide down further. And Black Friday is the apex low before we start to whoop, rise the temperatures again. But at least we're not talking about anything like a surge. So we're going to keep it in the 70s. And the whole forecast should be pretty comfortable, especially as we get closer and closer to the month of December.